my gosh. Okay, we're going, we're going. They just called. I've never done well with needles and it's working fast. I just wanna put a disclaimer here that I will be showing the needles. My lips feel massive right now. What's up you guys? Um, you guys saw the title, you clicked the thumbnail, you know that today I'm going to get lip filler and I can tell you I am so, so excited. Everyone has their own opinions about these kinds of things which I believe is totally fair and you can have your opinion and I will have my opinion but this is something that I've wanted for a very, very long time. If we go back, like way back to like 12 year old Elena being at dance competitions like all year and putting on lipstick. Red lipstick. Now, red lipstick shows everything. Like, if you miss a little bit, it shows where it goes. It shows the exact shape of your lip and this has made me so insecure since a very, very young age because my top lip is so tiny. Like, if you look, this is my lips. My top lip is tiny. When I smile, it's gone. I'm like looking in the viewfinder. It's gone and like this side's higher than this side and it's something that really bothers me and I love lipstick. I like wearing lip gloss and lipstick but it just shows my lips so much and I hate that. Now I feel like I'm old enough, mature enough to make these decisions for myself. So I've been thinking very seriously on it for quite a while now. I went for a consultation at MD Cosmetics in Abbotsford um, just over a month ago, I think, and they were all so amazing. They made me feel so comfortable and explained the whole process to me. We went over all the different options and just everything that I needed to know and answered all my questions. I booked my appointment and today's the day. I'm going at 11.45, just over an hour. Yeah, I'm super excited. This is what they look like. I don't mind how they look like this. It's when I smile. Wait, that's not how I smile. <laughs> like, it's gone. I assume that no one else notices that when I smile, like, my lip just disappears. Um, and now that I've said it, everyone's going to be very aware of it. But I share my life online, so this is a part of my life. I'm not trying to hide it and in any way so bring you guys along with me the only thing I'm nervous for is the needles because I've never done well with needles I try not to think about it too much but I'm really excited for the lip filler and like the results and everything I'm just not super excited for the needles and I really hope I don't bruise too much but I'm gonna take you guys along for all of it yeah I will show you all of it I'll give you my honest opinion on like how it feels how much I like the results everything Oh, I'm getting a half syringe. When I had my consultation at MD Cosmetics, we went over the different options. And for my first time, I think it's safe to go with a half and just see how much it does. If needles really freak you out, um, you might not want to watch this video because they do use needles. So if it really freaks you out, I just want to put a disclaimer here that I will be showing the needles. But yeah, let's let's go. Okay, I'm here in the parking lot. It is 11.37, my appointment's at 11.45, and I need to call them now that I've arrived. MD Cosmetics, thank you. Bye. Okay, they're gonna call me back once they're ready for me to go in. Okay, I'm getting nervous. Oh my gosh, okay, we're going, we're going. They just called, we're going. We're going, we're going, let's go. take a seat. Okay, I'm here in the chair. Um, I hope the lighting's okay because it is backlit, but we're here. I'm in the chair. Okay, we're taking before photos. I feel like I have to make myself look good. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Like smile or just... Yeah. And then can you turn like 45 to the side? Thank you. Multitasking. Oh, I'm excited for you. I can't wait to get my lips done. I don't love my side profile, so this okay, is a little <laughs> bit less forward. This way? This way? Yeah, that'd be great. Just so we can get. Can you just turn slightly to the side again? Thank you. And open up your mouth. So this is just a, a nice, it's a very strong numbing cream. 
uh, that we leave on for just about five minutes. Uh, it's the same cream we use for laser treatments. Mm -hmm. It's very powerful and it will really take the edge off. Okay, let that sit for five minutes. Mm. Sounds good. And you'll get numb real fast. Yeah, I can feel it <laughs> kicking in. Okay, we got some numbing cream and it's working fast. <laughs> Are we ready? We're going to take the ice off, I am. <laughs> <laughs> How long should I keep it on? Just rock it back and forth for another two seconds. Okay. My lips feel massive right now, because and we haven't done anything. Then. I know. Yeah. Okay, you can take that off. Okay, ready? No. All right, so take open them off for a second. Open them wider. Good job. Take a breath. Take Did you do it? You're doing it, yeah. We're already done four pokes. Wait, really? Yes, really. Okay, it's not as bad. <laughs> this is a good look. Okay. Oh, I have that one. I feel some on that. ones felt like nothing. Yeah. <laughs> As you get closer, they tend to hurt. Okay, we're done. We're done. Mm -hmm. You did such a good job. Was it called Arnica gel? Arnica gel. Put some you. gel on Just to keep for it. Bruising and swelling. Bruising and swelling. But there's not much, as you can see. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. How long does it usually well, take for we bruises? Know, we know pretty quickly if there yeah. would be any, and there's, you're not going to have any. No? No. Are you sure? I'm pretty uh -huh. sure. There might be a little tiny bruising, but nothing major. Oh, okay. I've seen like. People's after pictures and they're like purple, mm -hmm. which scared me. Yeah. So the technique that we use causes very little bruising. I'm leaving my appointment. I'm so happy with how they look. I'll give you guys like a zoom in. Like, I'll put my before and after photos on the screen so you can see like what it really looks like. Okay, I am back from my appointment. My lips are still pretty numb and it hurts a little bit just on the sides here which is strange because it did not hurt on the sides. I think in the video, I was even like, did you start when he did the side? But once it's in the middle, it's really sensitive. He told me that the middle line of your body is the most sensitive, so that makes sense then. But yeah, it didn't hurt like much at all. It's just a little like prick. I feel like I was pretty distracted with like taking videos and just trying to get lots of content. So I wasn't too, too focused on it. Here's the after. Again, I just did a half syringe, and he said that if you want like a more full look and it's your first time, that they do recommend doing a half and then coming again in like like two weeks or something. But yeah, this is directly after they will form more and like take take shape in the next couple days. I was told to drink lots of water today, and you're not supposed to use a straw for the first 24 hours, so. Let me use a straw. And then they gave me the Arnica gel to continue putting on throughout the day today. And the water and the Arnica gel just help prevent um, bruising. I'm really surprised that I have no bruises because all the photos that I saw from people's before and after, they had so much bruising. That's what I was most worried about. I thought that like the rest of the day was going to be a write-off because I wasn't going to want to like go out and have people see my bruised face. But no, I have no bruising. No bruising as of now. Okay, you're also not supposed to make, like, a lot of facial expressions today, like, because smiling does kind of hurt. Like, I can't give you, like, a full cheese smile, and if I, like, plump my lips, um, it kind of hurts. When I say hurt, I don't mean, like, I'm in pain. You can just, like, feel it, if that makes sense. 
anyway, I hope you guys liked watching this. I like watching this kind of stuff because I like to be informed and I feel like a lot of people that get lip filler or get Botox or get things done try to hide it and not talk about it, but that's not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to be very open and let you guys know that I got lip filler. And if you have any questions about it at all, please reach out to me, DM me on Instagram and I'd be happy to answer any questions because I feel like I didn't have all the answers going into it. But I will say, when I had my consultation at MD Cosmetics, they answered all those questions that I was unsure of. And it feels super comfortable. I will have MD Cosmetics website and their Instagram linked down below along with mine so you can see all the content from today. Also, if you go to MD Cosmetics, not for Botox or lip filler, but if you go for any treatments, you can use my code ALENA20 to get 20% off. Also, works for um, products. Today, I went and picked up two of the Tizo 3 SPF 40 sunscreen, and this is a tinted sunscreen, so it's kind of like, how do you use like a BB cream that's like a tinted moisturizer kind of thing, and it gives your face like that smooth look? That's kind of what this is, which is perfect for summer because it gives you like that makeup look without wearing makeup. So I actually picked up two because they were sold out last week because we're in like a heat wave, but they've also taught me the importance of sunscreen and making sure that you wear it rain or shine. I also didn't know that the rays from your computer screens and cell phones can also cause like the same type of like sun damage. I don't know the exact wording, but you're supposed to still wear sunscreen if you're sitting in front of a electronic device because you gotta protect your skin. While we're here, I'll show you guys the other products that I've been using from them. So this is the ZO Skin Health, and it is the gentle cleanser for all skin types. I've really been liking it. It works really well on my skin. It's really, really gentle, and I've been trying to clear up my chin a lot, and if you guys remember from, like, vlogs ago, my chin was so bad and just so red, and there's actually no makeup on it right now because they ended up, like, wiping it during my appointment, so that's where we're at. And then Illumier, Illumier hydrolyte facial moisturizer so this is a moisturizer that i've been using with it as well i feel like when i use them both in the morning my face looks like really glowy which i really 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 like these two together and now i'm going to start using the sunscreen and you can use it as like a makeup primer as well which i'm excited for but if you go there you can go online and order and use code elena20 for 20 percent off any of the products but Thank you so much for watching today. Check out my Instagram because I'm posting photos in a couple days when they're fully healed. And then you'll get a better idea of what the half syringe does. But yeah, if you have any questions about it, shoot me a DM, message me, and I'd be happy to chat about it. Really, anything at all. Don't be nervous. Let's keep the comment section really nice and polite. And remember that everyone has their own opinion and can make their own decisions for their own body. That's all for today. See you guys later. Bye.